I'm Carla Roslin. I'm a professor in immunobiology and pharmacology at Yale University. And together with my colleagues, Dr. Linda Mayer from UMC in Utrecht, Dr. Jonathan Sedwick from Abbey, and Dr. Alex McCarthy from Imperial College of London, we are organizing a Keystone Symposia on inhibitory receptors in health, disease, and therapy that will be held at Breckenridge in January 2024. Yeah, we're very excited about this meeting. In fact, uh, we think this is probably the first meeting on inhibitory receptors. Of course, there are some inhibitory receptors like CTLA-4 or PD-1 that have gained a lot of attention, probably in large part because of their key role in the regulation of the immune response to cancer. But there are several, probably hundreds of inhibitory receptors they are expressed in immune cells and non-immune cells. So the vision that we had for this meeting is to bring together colleagues that are studying inhibitory receptors, but from very broad, diverse uh, biomedical areas uh, of research. And so we think that this is going to be a unique uh, interdisciplinary forum where we will be able to delve into the biology of these receptors in health, and disease, and also it will be ideal to uh, discuss their potential therapeutic applications. And so we are featuring uh, scientists that are working on inhibitory receptors in many different areas. For instance, from the context of anti-tumor immune responses, but also we will feature studies in the context of autoimmunity, studies in allergy, in infection, and even beyond a classical immunology in the context, for instance, of responses to neurodegeneration and even vision loss. So this is going to be a very interesting multidisciplinary meeting with a very significant breadth of coverage of various disease settings. Hopefully we will start being able to categorize the rules of engagement for these receptors. So, for instance, is there a fixed time until, you know, these receptors are turned on in the context of a biological response? Or is there a calibration of an activation response before you turn on these inhibitory receptors? What about evolution? Did these co-inhibitory receptors evolve uh, with activating receptors? So I'm looking forward to learning a lot. I'm sure there are going to be things that we are not aware about. And so this will be an ideal forum for all of us to come together. I think the time is right to apply what we have already learned in terms of fundamental mechanisms driven by inhibitory receptors and what is emerging for some of them that are maybe new uh, in terms of our understanding to translate them into the clinic. And so I think also what our meeting will bring is a very special forum uh, that will catalyze interactions between academics and industry partners to advance this field both scientifically and clinically. I think there are settings like neurodegenerative diseases with many of these inhibitory receptors could play a fundamental role. So I'm looking forward to seeing what advances will be there in the context of uh, those more sterile type of damages where these inhibitory receptors could be ideal targets as well. Obviously, uh, those colleagues that are interested in inhibitory receptors will find this to be an ideal meeting, but I really want to draw attention to everybody that is interested in immunology in general and immune regulation in particular. I think this would be an ideal meeting uh, for those colleagues that are interested in those areas, and particularly for trainees, because when you're in these early stages of your career, coming to a meeting that has this significant breadth covering so many areas of immunology and beyond might be a great uh, start for, for your career. So I would like to encourage you to look into our program and, and attend. And as it is customary in Keystone meetings, we will have ample time uh, for talks that will be selected from abstracts. So it will be a great opportunity to present your work. We look forward to very lively uh, poster sessions and we'll have, I think, very dynamic uh, career development uh, roundtables that will facilitate the interactions between scientists that are coming into the field with those that are more established.